So summer camp is a three month like cultural exchange where you head over, you get to live in usually the wilderness um, and you get to look after kids and teach them all different activities. Um, it can be pretty much anything. They get pretty wrapped up in a lifestyle over there. Um, just play games with the kids all day, have fun, create memories and for them and for yourself and make friends with a bunch of international counsellors um, and even learn some new skills yourself and then opportunity to travel after um, around the US with all your new mates you've made, so it's good fun. First question, what is the duration of the summer camp? So every camp's a little bit different. Um, they generally range anywhere from two to three months. Um, uh, so usually the camps go for about eight weeks. You'll do one week of orientation. Um, and then if you're a specialist counselor, you might do an extra week of training. Um, and then you've got 30 days after camp to travel. So generally anywhere between two to three months. You're up. What is the accommodation like? Um, it can vary. Usually there is like staff accommodation in kind of dorms with your other like counsellors or like program staff. Um, sometimes you might be living in a cabin with the campers as well, but it's all really cool. Um, I lived in a cabin with the junior kids, so it's very fun. Next question. Um, are there some in December, January in the Southern Hemisphere? Not yet. Um, there's potentially some coming. At the moment we do the UK and the US over the summer period um, with some things on the horizon. So stay tuned for that one. But um, for now, yeah, just over, over the summer period. Ooh, I'm still waiting on my passport. Can I book a trip? Absolutely. Um, we recruit for summer camps in October is when most of the interviewing will be done. So definitely book now and you'll have everything sorted for October. Plus you don't even start the visa until like next year, once exactly. you've already matched with the camp. Um, what locations do you have for summer camps and how much is it? So um, locations everywhere, um, all around the US. I'd say there's a lot of camps populating California state and New York state. Um, but literally anywhere, um, most of them have a lakes and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, what do your duties look like? That's a really good question. That can depend on what you're actually hired for. If you're hired to be like a camp counsellor, you might just be living in a cabin with the kids, going with them to daily activities. Um, or you might be more of like a specialised counsellor. So actually running that activity for the day um, can really depend on what you actually get picked for. What your skills are. Uh, can I recruit a group and be able to join with them? Uh, that one's a hard one. Uh, in the US, it's typically quite hard to place travellers together uh, just because the camps basically select who they want um, and you don't really get too much for say uh, with going with your friends and that, but plenty of time to travel after camp, which is great. Uh, in the UK, definitely. Um, so we can definitely place friends together. Uh, that's not an issue at all. Um, so you just have to let us know and we can make it happen. What does it include? That's a very good question. <laughs> um, we include, obviously, actually like organising your trip. Um, you have your trip coordinator, just like Hayden. Um, you have your visa sponsorship, which is something you have to have to get the visa um, and pretty much all that ongoing support that we do give you. A bunch of other little stuff too, like you'll get some hostel nights, accommodation, they'll help you with all your important stuff in country, so your social security number, if you need bank account, to get a SIM card for your phone so you can get the numbers of other councils straight away, start meeting up, um, using Google Maps, all that sort of stuff. So all the essentials to set you up and, um, and then some fun other little activities like the hostel accommodation, all that sort of stuff too. Yeah. So, any packing tips? Um, best thing I packed was a good quality rain jacket, especially for the US. Um, you'll need it for the UK as well. Um, but a couple of pairs of jeans, a pair of good runners, a pair of rubbish ones because uh, you'll get muddy and dirty and um, you want a good pair of thongs or flip-flops or Crocs, whatever you, you prefer, whatever your <laughs> preference is. Um, but because uh, you'll get wet. Um, there's camps that all have pretty much lakes nearby. 
Um, so you'll be running around, getting wet, water fights, all that fun stuff. So just comfortable clothes, nothing too fancy. Um, but yeah, definitely a good rain jacket for sure. That's it for questions. Oh, that's all. <laughs> I did uh, two summers over in upstate New York. Um, so it was in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the closest town was about an hour and a half away. Um, so I was over there as a high ropes counselor, um, but then ended up doing a bit of everything. So I've stayed in New York and days off traveling around. It's good fun. Um, I worked in an all girls summer camp in Massachusetts, like two hours inland from Boston. Um, I took horse riding while I was there. Um, it was the best thing ever. I loved it so much. Cool. Yeah, what'd you love about it so much? Um, just the people, everyone's so like-minded. They just want to be there and have fun. Um, I met some of my now best friends there um, and the kids are just so stoked to be there. Like they just wait all year to go to camp. So it's such a good energy out there. It's amazing. Same question. Um, yeah, look, I, one of the really good things about camp is you get away from technology. Um, they pretty much, some camps ban it. Um, other camps are a bit more lenient. I know my camp, um, they were a little bit lenient, but we didn't ever have our phones on us because you were just involved in enjoying the moment with the kids and creating those relationships and really just having fun yourself but also making sure that the kids have a good summer because uh, they look forward to this all year and um, that's what they work hard for is so they can go to summer camp for a bit longer so um, being able to be involved in that experience and create those relationships and lasting memories is 100% why you do something like this. What would you say to people interested in booking a summer camp trip? Uh, 100% do it. <laughs> um, so that's what got me into traveling. Like it was my first solo trip. It's not a long trip. So it's a great way to test the waters, um, meet some cool people that eventually you'll go and visit overseas. And, and that's what will spark your, um, your passion for travel. Um, and it's a good way to fit in between like uni breaks and things like that. It's, um, it's definitely something you jump in, do it now while, uh, while you can before you get too old. Yeah, same thing, yeah. Um, similar to Hayden, like it was one of my first travel experiences um, and still to this day, like I'm in touch with everyone. My camp director literally texted me today um, still and I haven't been there for like two or three years. Um, so just 100% to it, don't be scared. You get so much support, not only from us, but also like everyone that's there and the camp counsellors, the campers, everyone. So it's home away from home. Awesome. Any questions for each other? What were your like? What would you do on your days off in camp? Days off, um, you're generally pretty tired, so we just chill. But we would take the camp van, get a group of us together. We'd go to like the local waterfall, go to the local town, just like walk around, get ice cream, like just have fun with your friends and just wait to go back to camp. Honestly, most of the time we were just excited to go back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we did similar stuff. Um, Waterfalls is a big one, like just real zen chill stuff. Mm -hmm. But then also we did some crazy stuff. Like we went upstate New York, um, went to Six Flags in New Jersey, yep. uh, went on the world's tallest roller coaster. I uh, went to a Yankees game, at baseball. Um, yeah, like there's so much you can see and do, but you do need some chill time too, because you're exhausted um, and you just want to get stuck back in your camp. You, you kind of miss it. You're out for a day and it's weird. You miss it. It's not really a job. It's it's just fun. Yeah. So. Legend. Goody.